Hey there ladies and gentlemen, KJ Andy O is back and this time I have a review of a 4K video camera camcorder. This was sent to me for the purpose of review and the company's name, I can't really pronounce it. I got my computer here, let me look. It's Z-N-I-A-R-A-K-L. That's the manufacturer's name. It is a 4K video camera camcorder with 48 megapixel UHD night vision, YouTube vlogging capabilities, touch screen, remote, internal and external shotgun mic, handheld stabilizer, lens hood, HDMI output, two batteries and a hot shoe along with tripod mount and supports up to 128 gigabyte memory card. That being said, let's take a look at this video camera camcorder and here we go. Here's everything you receive in the 4K digital camera. Here's a look at the 4K digital camera. On the side are a few of the specs, 48 megapixel. This folds out and it's also your screen. Inside there are various buttons. This one's menu Wi-Fi, OK button, up button, and this is the power and down button. There's a mini USB connector, haven't seen one of them in a while, an external microphone connector and an HDMI connector. On the front of the camera, they do supply you with a lens cap. And I think I had to attach this when I first got it, but I've been using this for a while now. There's a look at the lens area, f2.0. It comes with a wrist strap attached. Looking at the top of the camera, you have your hot shoe or cold shoe. There is your zoom. You have wide and telephoto. And there are two buttons, one for photo and one for mode. Battery connects right on the back. There's a battery release right here. Your memory card goes in here. Just flip the door up, slide the memory card in. And while I'm here, I might as well install a memory card. They do not supply you with one. So I'm inserting my own. It's a SanDisk 32 gig. While I'm down here, I'll install the battery. Just line up these gold contacts with those gold contacts and kind of push in and up just like that. It'll lock into place. To release, just pull this back and it comes right out. You'll get a welcome screen as soon as the battery is connected. It says unsupported file system. Do you want to format? So you can press the format. For the purpose of the video, I will be using the remote. The remote's pretty straightforward to use. There's a power button, light button, photo, movie, play button, zoom in and out, four-way directional with an OK button. That's probably the OK button, I imagine. A menu button and a mode button. Pressing the menu button on the remote, first you have recording resolution. You could go from 4K 60 frames a second and all the way down to 720 30 frames a second. Next is EIS, then white balance. You could change it from auto, sunny, cloudy, incandescent, fluorescent, and back to auto. Exposure setting, you have minus 3 to plus 3. It's on 0 by default. Metering mode, average, center, or spot. Sharpness, it's on middle. Video is on middle. Sensitivity, this is like your ISO. You could go from auto or 100 all the way up to 6400. Time watermark, you could turn that on and off. Same with recording audio. And that's it. Now I could press the mode button and it goes down to the gear. And from there you have beep set. Wi-Fi, light source frequency, and that's if you live in other countries. In the U.S. it's always 60 hertz. Other countries may be 50 or you can leave it on auto. Timing off, you could set a timer for when you want the camera to turn off. Language, date and time format, time set, date set, formatting, which will format the SD card, version information, there's version information for the camera, factory reset, and back to beep set and really that's about it from the main screen you can press the mode button and change the mode so it's on normal you can go to slow loop time lapse normal picture auto picture continuous picture time picture on the main screen there's a battery meter here's your running time shows we're in video mode it has your resolution at the bottom 4k 60 frames a second the menu right here you can press it and go to the menu that's all the stuff I wanted to show you regarding the menu system and how to navigate. Let's go over a couple other things. They provide you with a stabilizer arm. It unfolds just like that. 
This part connects to the bottom of the camera. There's a tripod mount. They also provide you with a shotgun mic. There's an on off switch at the top. First position is on. Next one is on but with a low pass filter. The next switch has different dB settings from negative 10, 0 and plus 20. There's a windscreen on the mic and there's a cold shoe connector. Simply slide it on, screw that down. You also have to connect the microphone to the external mic input of the camera. They provide a cable for that. Connect one end to the microphone and the other end to the external mic jack on the camera. To attach the stabilizer, you need to attach this screw to the tripod mount on the camera. And just screw it into place. And your stabilizer is all connected along with the microphone and you are ready to go. Let's try a zoom test on those palm trees there. There we go. It's all zoomed in. Zoom out. So here's 4K 30 frames a second. It's 430 at night. I'm using the shotgun mic, which means I'm actually behind the mic. A lot of traffic noise, a lot of traffic. Sun is casting a shadow there. And it automatically kind of changes the exposure when it needs to. I could zoom. All right, guys, here is a test of the external microphone with zero dB. Here is a test of the external mic with plus 20 dB. And that's really about all I want to show you down here. Let's go back up top and I'll close this out and give you my final thoughts. Welcome back everybody. That was a look at the 4K video camera camcorder. I showed you pretty much everything I could in the up and close. I didn't go too in depth about all the functions, but I showed you how to navigate through the menu, showed you some test footage. Here's the camera itself and what it looks like. And even though I showed you all that in the up and close, so let me go over some notes with you that I got. There are some pros and there definitely are some cons. Let's go over the cons first. So one thing is I learned that it's a 13 megapixel image sensor. So even though that it's a 48 megapixel camera, it really only has a 13 megapixel image sensor. So that's something to know. Although I will say right now I'm filming this video with my Panasonic Lumix FZ300 and it only has a 12 megapixel image sensor. So I would think this camcorder should look as good as what you're seeing right now, but it doesn't. Okay, so just something to consider, all right? Um, the video, it could be a little bit jerky when you're panning around. What I mean is if you like pan around like this, it's not so fluid with that camera as it is with my Panasonic. And I'm sure you noticed that in some of the sample footage that I uh, put in the up and close. Another con is it does not have an autofocus. So you can only get so close up to a subject and it's only going to be like so good far away. It has to be like kind of in that right zone, probably like 10 to 20 feet right around there. Although it could definitely take uh, scenic views. I showed you that in my up and close as well. Along with that, it only supports digital zoom, so you won't be able to zoom in really crisp and clear on things, but it's not too bad either. I was expecting certainly a lot worse with the digital zoom. Also, it would have been nice for them to include two mini USB cables. Um, right now as it is, you can only charge the batteries with the battery in the camera, so you'll have to use that mini USB cable. And while it's charging, there's no way to also charge the mic. I know you could also get a mini USB cable of your own, but it would have been nice for them to provide one in the kit. Also, the touchscreen input. It works, it works pretty decent, but when you gotta scroll through things, it's a little bit sensitive, you could say. It's a little bit jerky. It's not always so responsive, but the remote control makes it certainly way easier to navigate through those menus. And you won't be using the menus a lot, but 
When you want to use them, use the remote control for sure on that. So let's go over the pros. It is a pretty small form factor for a 4K video camcorder. I dig that. And uh, useful accessories, including the external shotgun type mic, the lens hood, dual batteries. It also comes with a lens cap that you see right here and the remote control, which I don't have in my hands at the moment. It has pretty good long battery life. I'm guessing around 90 minutes on a full charge of the battery. It's not too bad at all. It's pretty decent. The shotgun mic, it sounds pretty clear. When you use the gain, it gets a little bit noisy, but at the zero dB point, it's definitely pretty decent. I also like that you could snap a photo while you're recording a video. That's pretty useful at times. Additionally, when I first got the camera, I went live on my YouTube channel and made sure it could handle the blogging. And it definitely did. I could stream perfectly good with it through YouTube using uh, YouTube Live. In fact, I think it looks a little bit better uh, than the way my Logitech camera looks. It's just that it doesn't have that autofocus that the Logitech has, and I really wish it had that. I like that it features an external microphone jack, so even if you don't want to use this one, you can use a different microphone. It also features a built-in light. It's not really bright or anything like that, but if you're using it right in front of you for vlogging, it definitely will get the job done. So to sum it up, all in all, I think it's a great starter video camera camcorder for someone that wants to just get into photography and videography and doesn't want to break the bank or you want to use it for vlogging, I think it's a great low cost option for that. Additionally, there are times when you're going to have your phone and believe me, my phone could take way better video than this camcorder, but it drains the battery. So at times when you don't want to drain your phone battery, you could definitely use this and that's really about it. So make sure to look at my description. I will have a link back to Amazon where you can purchase the device and check it out further. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, drop me a line below. I love hearing from you guys. And until next time, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.